Y'all, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm over here having a good old time. But I'm trying to clean out my closet because I keep trying to add stuff to my closet. So I'm just showing you guys the mess of a closet I have now. <sighs> it is a hot mess. I have to hang up all these clothes. And then I brought a fashion rack over here in the corner. So I got to get all them clothes up. Hang up all these clothes. Y'all, I'm so out of breath. And then I have clothes down there as well. We trying to get this uh, closet sale stuff up really, really soon. I'll be updating you guys. So that is the task for today. And also I have to film a video for you nice hair. Well, I'm not gonna film the video, but I'm gonna make the wig today. Um, so yeah, I think I have a frontal in this. Does it say what I have on the package? No, it don't. This stuff is for the closet sale. <sighs> so yeah, let me just go ahead and get started. I got a couple hours, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I gotta do, but I'm feeling good today, y'all. I'm feeling real good. It don't matter to me. Okay, how do I pause this? Okay. okay, so I managed to get all the clothes off of the floor and stuff. And this is the pal that I'm working with. As you can see, it is huge. Um Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hang all this stuff up. Let me show you guys. This is the closet after everything has been picked up and stuff. Still got to work down there. But all that stuff that was up there and down there is no longer there. It's on the bed. So let me just go ahead and get started because I got a lot to do. Y'all, I did not know that Drake spoke Spanish. That is crazy. Have y'all seen this video? Me, uh... Mia, Mia. I was listening to this song like that sound like Drake and it is Drake. I'm trying to stretch my back out because my back is killing me. So I know y'all could barely see me, but I'm really just trying to take a couple of minutes before I go get my son and um close my eyes for a second and just relax. But anyway, so I want to talk to you guys about the video I just posted. And when, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support because it just means a lot to me. I hope you guys can hear me because this is going to be kind of lengthy. But um, I don't know if I told you guys or mentioned, I think that I did, but I told you guys that I was in therapy. And um, I recently just started therapy and I'm glad that I did. And I really want to talk to you guys about it because I have been suffering for... Uh, are from um, anxiety and depression for a long time on and off throughout my whole life and I finally took the step to go get some help so um, yeah I am in that therapy now I go once a week um, and it's really been helping and all that but mainly what I want to say was um, the video I just uploaded when I said I wasn't going to do no more vlogs, a lot of you guys were like, oh, you know, we loving this, we're loving your vlogs, we love the fact that we can get to know you on a personal level, you know, we love it, you know, um, and we feel like we're getting to know the real you, and for some reason, when people say the real, like, they getting to know the real me, it kind of strikes me a little funny, um, not sure how it makes me feel, but I know it strikes some type of emotion in me, because, it almost it almost bothers me in a way because it's like I'm always being myself, but I definitely feel like I have multiple like I don't want to say multiple personalities, but I have multiple modes and like vibes and like, you know, like I have multiple things that I feel at certain times and I express myself the way I truly feel at that time. So sometimes it may come across as, oh, she's not being herself or oh, she's not whatever but I always feel like I am authentically being myself it's just that I don't give enough of myself and I think that that comes across as she's being not herself and that really does strike me as like a problem especially on YouTube because I just feel like people just put all their business on YouTube and I'm like okay I'm an Aries so I have a hard time even being open 
with people um, and telling them how I feel just because I'm just that type of person. I'm kind of like an introvert and I don't trust a lot of people because I've been hurt in my life and there's things that you guys don't know that I eventually will talk about here on the channel but there's been things that has happened in my lifetime that I'm just not comfortable opening up to people that I don't know. Um, it's not a lot of you guys I do know because I see y'all are consistent and that's another thing with me consistency is definitely key so if I see you over and over and over I know that you really rock it with me but even in my real life like I don't want to say my real life because definitely YouTube is my real life too but like even like in my personal life I don't I have friends but I don't I don't have a lot of close friends because I have a hard time opening up to people and I'm pretty sure the people that call themselves my friends see that in me and I have been recently over these past couple weeks really just been trying to open up to everybody and be myself around everybody and like really be myself no matter what it is you know not holding back I would say I'm never fake but I definitely hold back so I think that gets confused you know what I'm saying but these past couple weeks I've been having like the time of my freaking life and that's because I have been kind of just letting go. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not me necessarily worrying about everybody else and what they may think. I think it's just me just getting in the way of myself, you know? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I just don't ever want you guys to think that I'm never being myself. I just feel like I have to open up more. One thing about me, I'm not the type of person to tell all my business and put my business on the Internet. I may tell you stuff if you're my close friend, but if I don't know you personally like that, for real, for real, then you're not going to know a lot of stuff about me. Like, I'm going to let you know what I want you to know, but a lot of stuff I'm going to have to keep, you know, under wraps because it's just not for everybody to know. Like, I never understood why some people get on YouTube and put their whole life business on YouTube. And it's like, girl, come on. Like, you got to leave something a mystery. You know what I'm saying? We can't, we got, we can't know your whole crevices. You know what I'm saying? Like... Nah, bruh, but I don't know, some people like that, some people like the fact they, people are being real and they respect it, which I get, I'm not, you know, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do, but me personally, I have to unravel myself a little by little, <laughs> like that's just me, and also I'm the type of person, like I'm not going to tell you what's going on with me unless I feel like you can fix it, like even with my friends, like I always feel like I'm not going to tell you certain things if I feel like I don't want your input on it, or you can't help me or I because I and another thing I always feel like I'm bothering people but that's not a realistic way of looking at things or feeling about you know relationships and things that you're bothering people I know my friends always hate when I, I say I'm bothering them but I definitely feel like I do because like people got their own problems and like I don't want to put my problems on you as well but that's not a healthy way to be because everybody needs somebody period if you say that you don't need somebody, you're a fucking liar, period. So, I didn't say that I didn't need nobody, but I just feel like I'm always bothering people. But, you know, I'm really trying, you guys, and this therapy is really working. I hope you guys are seeing a difference. I'm more, you know, open and relaxed with certain things. Um, and <laughs> don't get it twisted. Don't ever get it twisted. I'm always being myself, never fake. But I definitely feel like I don't put my whole self out there. I'll say that. But anyways, I got to go, y'all. I liked talking to you guys. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support on my last video. Like, you guys are the fucking bomb. Oh, my God. I love y'all. I almost cried when I read all those comments about me, you know, about you guys not wanting me to stop Vlogmas. Oh, my God. I could have cried, y'all. Like, <laughs> And that's another thing. I'm a very emotional person, but I just, I be trying to play hard as fuck, bro. <laughs> but I cry about a lot of things, a lot of good and bad things. Like, I'm just a worrier, a crier. Like, I'm just, I'm in my feelings a lot, you know? So, I just want to say thank you guys so much. I know y'all can't see me. I apologize. <sighs> I'm just trying to, my back has been killing me. And I know it's because I've gained so much weight. And this is the only way. Me sitting like this with like my knees on the floor and me stretching my back in the doggy style position. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But yeah, that's the only way I get relief off of my back, y'all. I know it's because I've gotten fat and I'm just, I'm over that too. But that's a different story. <laughs> but anyways, I gotta go because I know it's time for me to pick up my son. I don't want to be late. I might go get drinks with my mom and sister later. If I do, you guys will see that. So yeah, love you guys. 
I gotta get up before I fall asleep because this is so fucking comfortable. <laughs> Y'all made a quick run to the liquor store. I went to pick me up some wine because, honey, today I needed it and I didn't have it. So, you guys recommend me some good wine to drink. I think I'm going to just get this. The Pink Moscato. They actually have it on sale, too, for $11. Anyway. But I think I'm going to just get one. So. But yeah. Recommend me some good wine y'all. Mm, how much is that one? I want to try this one. This one look good too. This one. Hmm. But I think I'm going to just stick to this.